I'm a Kasi. Being a Kasi, I am a Kasi. The Kasi people. Meghalaya, one of the northeastern states of India. The lineage uh, with regards to property and everything comes from the mother's side. Ah, so honesty comes first. Even our surnames. Here in, in Meghalaya, the, the women are, are not as portrayed as downtrodden as and and subjected to discrimination. Ruling. I'm Jessica White and I came to Megalia to explore the Kazi tribe and the matrilineal society that's so intrinsic to this tribe. What I learned was that matrilineality brings about different forms of leadership and enterprise. My hope is that actually these kinds of filming will spurn ideas um, that you will have for future projects. From the Tarayan clan, this young writer who has written both a novel and a poetry book was so enthusiastic and eloquent to tell me about the differences between the matrilineal society and that of the rest of India. So the thing is that in class we would often uh, share our own stories, stories of uh, our experiences in life. So most of them would like to become feminists. The moment I told them that, you know, I come from a matrilineal society, they said, wow, that's, that's amazing, because we don't, get, we don't have that kind of thing here. So a woman for them is more of a, has to crawl in conformity and most of the dogmas, the rules and the conventions are, you know, are foisted upon them. So they cannot air their opinions. So they have to stay in a household where the, the, the mother-in-law is kind of a, the ruler, the monarch. So at the behest of the, uh, the mother-in-law, they have to bow down and perform her whatever she asks, her, she asks them to do. Mm -hmm. And it's not like that in Kazi's society? No, not at all. Mm -hmm. So it's, you feel more at home if you stay in your mother's house Actually, the youngest daughter gets to stay in the mother's mm -hmm. house. So you feel more at home because supposing if, if a husband and wife were in conflict, um, a man can still storm out of the house late at night. Mm -hmm. Nobody will say anything. Mm -hmm. But imagine if a woman has to stay with a mother-in-law and if, if, if something were to happen, if she storms out of the house in a fit of peak late at night, people, there would be a huge in cry. Like, she's a woman. How can she be you know, trolling about the streets late at night? Mm -hmm. So that's the difference. It's more of an advantage, I would mm -hmm. say. Okay, so you're maybe are you trying to influence or inspire the women in your class with these stories? Yeah. To follow their dreams. To, follow, follow to not be afraid by the sound of their own voice. We believe that the, while living in this world, mm -hmm. we have our parent house. Mm -hmm. We can go to them in time of need and security. Mm -hmm. Sweetie Mom Ranja has been both a civil servant and is a writer. The Kazi traditions have passed from generation to generation by oral means. Now she is documenting so that future generations can learn more about these rich and intricate traditions. The Kazi people, mm -hmm. they don't have library in like uh, temporary structure like the house. Or the Kazi people, they have library in nature. In nature? <laughs> It's Nature like, is all the library where mm -hmm. they are printed in the leaves in the flower that they go on living from one generation to another mm -hmm. generation. Mm -hmm. In the flowers, in the herbs, in the plant, mm -hmm. in the bamboos mm -hmm. that grows, mm -hmm. in everything. So it is a library in nature. Mm -hmm. Kashi people, that library will never get effaced from the surface of the earth. Mm -hmm. So you have to think about this wisdom. Mm. Am I not correct? Yeah. Mm. And the herbs, mm. they're the special Kazi mm. herbs. Mm. There are? They have the they they don't even have the herbs that is edible with our food. Mm -hmm. They are medicinal also mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. Through the season. Mm -hmm. They have the fruits that are medicinal during the season. Mm -hmm. They have plenty of all this. Mm -hmm. in our forest, mm -hmm. in our land, in our consecrated forest, mm -hmm. in any concept forest. You can eat as much as you can, but you cannot take away anything from mm -hmm. there. And how do people learn about this? Through oral uh, teaching? 
Huh? Can you learn about the Kasi um, um, herbs through oral teaching? They know and then every season they eat. Mm. They eat. Mm. We have oral herbs. Mm. My name is uh, Mayfrain and hi. Uh, I am from I am a Kasi, to very proud Kasi from Megalia, one of the northeastern states of India. And um, we are trying to document the medicinal herbs of the Kasis right now, only of the Kasis right now, with them and make it into a book form where we, we, we try to uh, pass it on from one generation to the other through, through writing and through maybe documenting it in a book form rather than you know, transmitting it again to, from, from word of mouth. And then it, the, you know, the, I would say the ingredients, I would say of the medicinal herbs keep changing the more we exchange it from mouth to mouth. So that's why we're trying to document that. In fact, we have just started uh, documenting two um, medicinal herbs of uh, two villages in, in the Kasi Hills. So we're planning to do it more and extend it maybe again to Ribhoi district, another district of Meghavia. The fiery marsh of the Shari Choir warms the dense forest, gives pleasure to the rainbow world of flies, and the ruby light of love to the trees, festooned with ariots, pipers, ferns, fern alleys, and orchids. Uh, these are actually the indigenous plants of, of our state. Mm -hmm. uh, so not only your state, but also your tribe, right? Your tribe, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So by writing this, then you were saying before that you wanted to inspire people to understand a little bit more, to take a second look perhaps at um, their, their own culture. And also, I guess you want it to be spread into other areas, not just your own culture, right? Be one to India after that, the time that he left India. I was uh, born here in Shillong. Christina grew up a Kazi, and yet with a British father. This one is right the traditions that were entwined were that of the post-colonial relations between India and England, as well as and her own. What did your father think when you got married to someone? It was, he, you got married to someone from the tribe? Yes, from Kazi. Mm. He's a Kazi. Did your father come to the wedding? No, he didn't come because I think during that independence, my father had to go back. Mm -hmm. But he was he was happy about you marrying one of the tribes. <laughs> he really wanted me after the to come there. Then he uh, came to visit you. I'm yes, after twenty five years, he came and visited us. After twenty five years, yes. why did he wait so long? He was too busy. With too busy. Work. Um, hi, my name is Iba. I own this uh, small plot of land here in uh, Ribhoi district. So this is the top cover and we take it out and Leave it like this on the floor. And this is the, the queen separator sheet. So that the queen cannot come up to the super chamber. And this is how we inspect each frame. And with regards to like the, the honeybee um it's interesting that you were saying about the queen bee and it's necessary that the queen bee is there for all the other worker bees to stay. Yeah. Um, does that kind of like strike any kind of resemblance to the kind of matrilineal tribe in which you grew up in? Our tribe, uh, we, we are the matrilineal tribe, yes, you're right. Um, it, the thing is, um, yeah, we, we do give a, a strong uh, emphasis on the mother and, and the lineage uh, uh, with regards to property and everything comes from the mother's side and, and also even our surnames and uh, hence the property and so on and so forth. Although now there, there has been a lot of changes, progressive, and, uh, but then again it depends from family to family. Uh, like in my case, um, uh, everything is shared equally with, with my brothers. I've got two brothers and I'm the only daughter in the family. Um, but in the past, it has always been that uh, the khaddo, meaning the youngest daughter in the family, is the custodian of 
the family um, property and things like that. Do you think yeah. that um, the sort of the women are essential to the society just in the same way that the queen bees are essential to the hive? Yes, yes. If if you put it like that, yes. Northeast India is in fact uh, quite marginalized as far as like you know our position vis-a-vis -vis mainland India. Mm -hmm. So we're in, I mean it's, it's a political issue and it's also a social issue, it's also a cultural issue. We talk about it all the time, we discuss about the system all the time at home. And among <coughs> mm -hmm. So uh, yeah it, it has maybe unconsciously in, in some ways uh, shaped and influenced mm -hmm. you know, me as a person. Because uh, there's no segregation or you know uh, division between male and female actually in Shillong. Yeah, there's no like, such you know, thing as that. Yeah. There's no such thing as that. There's, there's no, no segregation. Women. Yeah, like you know, uh, in like in different yeah. places, like you know, this what do you call uh, the men should be high or you know the women should be mm -hmm. like low or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like in Shillong, we're all equal. Like mm -hmm. we don't have that kind of feeling. Like that is what I'm saying. The, the moral values that we have here is kind of hard to explain. That consciousness of being a male or a female, yeah, it it, it's really not that mm. important, you know, as mm. far as our community is concerned, you know. Mm. And I wanted to ask you, it's so interesting about the matrilineal line, what do you see about the role of men in this, huh? The role of men. The role of a man. What? Oh. A man has got the same status like the woman, so. and both the man and the woman supplement each other to make a classy home mm -hmm. a successful home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has his contribution to his kid and kin, to his sister, to his nieces. Mm -hmm. He has his contribution to the wife's family. He is a counselor along with her maternal uncle, provided he goes in a disciplined way. He is not a drunkard, he is not a combat. <laughs> That is the truth of it! You were talking about this particular prose, which is about the matrilineal society. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Um, so, uh, actually, uh, the woman is an epitome of the force of God's creation. She's a barrier giver, a nurturer, and a transformer. Because, That's a lot. Yeah, because um, I, uh, mo people hearing this would say that I'm feminist. Mm -hmm. I'm not rooting out for women. Mm. I'm just saying that sometimes we need to. Um, some people say that in order to succeed, you need to emulate a man. But I mean, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Some say that, mm. especially my friends, I would mm. say. But then I feel like um, a woman should not lose her feminine essence mm -hmm. because she should allow that the feminine aspects of, the, uh, of a woman mm -hmm. to influence society. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, for example, um, if, they, if, 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 uh, if two people are caught in a brawl, mm. a woman would often tone it down. Mm. If she allows a feminine to sense to do that, mm -hmm. and then she's an Amazon jokes apart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. So it's adding sort of the water to the fire in a way. That's what. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so it's about it's about women respecting themselves because they are women. Because they are women. Yeah, and not and not taking on the masculine form. So of a this, uh, from it brings from the fact that um, yeah. the nine months mm -hmm. for nine months. Uh, a, a baby uh, nestling, um, coddling, uh, beautifully nestled in a mother's mm -hmm. womb mm -hmm. for nine months. So it, it brings out the beautiful experience mm -hmm. of a woman actually, we, should we are indebted to them for life itself mm -hmm. and for making it worth living. Mm -hmm. um, we should realize, the, when people are made to realize the true worth of a mother, mm -hmm. it is only then that it will somehow reshape and remold mm -hmm. their mindset. Mm -hmm to appreciate all the other women kind out there in the mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. Because um, a society is, is an aggregation of individuals. Mm -hmm. So um, they should allow this, they should, they should try to manifest the, the feminine aspects of creation within mm -hmm. the human society. Mm -hmm. if, we want to, if they want to sustain this planet Earth and if they want um, you know, humankind to, not to regress but mm -hmm. to evolve, mm -hmm. they should actually try to redress the imbalance between men and women. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because like a bird cannot fly on one feather, I mean on one wing. On one wing, beneath yeah. two, yeah. Two. Like mm. a vision of a man and a woman are the building blocks of a community. Mm. So you would say almost that the, there is like an equality between the man and the woman That's what, in matrilineal society. Matrilineal society. Mm -hmm. They believe that your grandma has passed away 
about 10 generation and she is over there mm -hmm. you cannot see her but when you pass away from here in time of death you will be with her in the parlor house of court mm -hmm. so as your soul will live with her as you are living in this world you have your own parental house to go in times of need mm -hmm. so whether you are a boy or a girl this ancestral family will have to take care of you for security mm. that's lovely so that is our religion mm. am i not correct that is a matrilineal system mm. คนที่จะกินจากที่ <laughs> But the jet blue, the long blue, the way root, the kumba girl can take a car, a pun, a pun roy, you got a tay he, the guitar with snow, a snow over there, snow with half a bag, day over, but then come even I just can pay. One more question and then I will let you sleep. I wanted to ask, how do you see the Kazi tribe in the future? Huh? In the future, where do you see the Kazi tribe going? Like in the future. Okay. What do you see the Kazi in future? How can your I hope, see? It? Your hope. Mm -hmm. Your hope. How can I see? Unless you. You don't understand the root. How do you expect? This learned people in Kazi. We have the university, we have the Kashi department, we have so many institutions, we have the art, we have the culture and all. But in-depth study about the intrinsic values, our uh, ideals in matters of religion, in matter of social structure, in matter of political structure, if we cannot upkeep this, we will be nowhere. Mm. One day we will be effaced from the surface of the earth. Mm. Other things will come and they will cover all of us. Sweet light of dust. But luckily, one thing, we have our dress code, we have our ornaments, we have our music, we have our song, and we have our library in the empire. We see the manifestation mm -hmm. of everything that is Kasi mm -hmm. in our hillock, in our stream, in our rivers, mm -hmm. in our village, mm -hmm. in our Lantinio system, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in the lineage of the people, in the property of the people. If peace cannot be preserved, then it will be the case. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you. <laughs> you feel, you feel what I feel. Mm -hmm. ah, we should do this because there is an uprightness. We may be humble, we may be small, but God has created every diverse nation, every tribe or race with the same intention that we try together. We create harmony, peace, and mutual coexistence. Let us make this world a happy place to live. Mm. <laughs> Oh
Hakin dong red gas la berte Jing itin nad bala bodu blay Spat jing ker kuki dap ki shlay Kari kasi kat belong karim pay Kuku Kuku ยากาเนกาเวอวัดยาลิงกาบาจิงสงอบฮาเปอร์เทยตัวดาตัวรีอาลาเรมเปยลายาดกีปอร์บาดลาบุญจิงกลาคิเรมเปยรุลาสดัง